Hey guys, welcome to day 51 of my carnivore journey. And um, I just want to say, guys, thank you all so, so much again for all of the um, loving and kind, supportive words that you guys had for me when I was a little down and out yesterday. Um, so, but I feel better today, you know, and, and I know that it's a long journey and if I stick with it in the end, I'm hoping that it'll all be worth it. Um, uh, because again, this is something that I do feel good every day when I get up and I go through my day, I just feel solid. And that's the, the beautiful thing about carnivore though, is how it feels and, and maybe keto a little bit. I don't, I don't know. Um, but I'm just speaking from the carnivore side of things. Um, had some, some decent rest. I had to kind of get up early because I had to check in with work to find out we had major massive snowstorms and, um, we got sent home early yesterday. I couldn't do my second job because I just couldn't even get out of my neighborhood. I live with some hills, you know, like kind of mountain or air, mountain type areas. And, um, so there was just no way I could get my car out on the road. Um, tonight I am going to try to do my second job. The roads have been cleared and worked and salted and I had to shovel driveway again. Um, so I, all the work I did last night, yesterday, uh, I had to do again <laughs> this morning, but it hasn't snowed since now I've cleared everything out. I was able to get my car I actually went into town, um, to the grocery store and um came back so things are okay i gotta watch out tonight we're supposed to have temperatures down i think like one degrees um fahrenheit so it's um it's gonna suck all right it's gonna suck but so i gotta watch out for black ice and things like that you know on the roads but i'm gonna take my time i'm gonna be leaving here probably a half hour early um so other than that, today it's been a pretty solid day. I don't think I had to use the the, the restroom yet. Um, as far as that goes, I try to keep you guys informed. And I try to document that so you guys know. If, for those of you following along in your daily, you know, if you're watching this on a daily basis, you kind of know how the, the, the bathroom breaks go. Okay, so especially if you're wanting to try this or you're starting it and you're behind me. Um, so yeah, again, just to confirm, um, Rick Van Man did accept my challenge. I believe somebody else was talking about wanting to do it. It, was, it might've been Louise in the comments. Um, but if you guys want to join in next week, Monday through Sunday, the 22nd through the 28th, I believe. Let me see. About my, yes. I was looking at my cheat, cheat sheet. Uh, the 22nd through the 28th is going to be, um, BBB and E week. That's what I'm calling it <laughs> within the carnivore month, the end of the carnivore month, the 22nd through the 28th is going to be BBB and E. Uh, so again, the rules are going to be pretty simple. Uh, you can eat any kind of beef, um, or meat. So chicken, you know what I mean? Like as long as you keep it meat, right? Preferably ruminant if you can, uh, but beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Okay, you have to stick within that realm. You don't have to eat all four. You eat less or whatever you want, whatever amounts. But you got to stay within that realm. And then spices, no. No spices except for salt. Okay, you're allowed to have salt, preferably Redmond's or Himalayan pink salt. Um, and, and that's really it. Um, now, as far as drinks, preferably if you can stick strictly to ice water, I'm going to actually go without coffee for a week. I, it's going to kill me. I know I've got coffee tonight. <laughs> I've been still drinking my coffee almost every night. So, but I, I, I truly want to see, I really want to see how that week is going to make me feel. And because let me just tell you this, eating dirty carnivore, I still feel a hundred times better than when I was eating sad, you know, the standard American diet. I feel, I feel really good eating dirty carnivore. Okay. I ate dirty tonight. I had my pizza. Okay. The, the, you guys know it's all, um, the, the it's, there's no flour. There's no crust. You know, it's all diet friendly. 
okay? Uh, it's like an egg and cheese crust. It's really good. It doesn't taste really eggy. Um, so, so anyways, I'll, I'll show you guys uh, that picture. Um, and of course, you guys have seen this similar before, but there you go. So I had the pizza, and it was um, it was it was it was good. Um, but I'm I'm full. Of course, I didn't eat everything. And for some reason, anytime I make those pizzas, you know, I cut them into slices of eight and I can never eat the last two. I just, that's about where my limit is. Um, and it's a lot of cheese. You know, again, it's, it's eating dirty. Um, it was a meat lovers. It had pepperoni, um, a hamburger, basically ground, ground beef or beef mince, right? And uh, bacon, you know, so, but of course there was the cheeses and then the crust is like a cheese and egg. So... A lot of nutrients in there. It's not an egg white. It is the whole egg. So you do get some of the yolk nutrients in there. Um, again, it was more of a treat night. And so some of you might say, well, Josh, you were just bitching about your not non-weight loss <laughs> like yesterday. Look, I get it, you know. But again, there's just times when I think it's a mental thing, to be honest with you. Um, and so it's like, it's like I kind of know that I'm approaching that the the upcoming bbb and e week and it's almost like my mind's like okay well well what things can i get away with because you know i'm coming up on that deadline and what it reminds me of is back in the day when i used to when i used to consider dieting and i was always like and and sometimes me and my wife would be like okay we're gonna start dieting you know next week on monday starting monday that was like a common f <laughs> i just it was like a common phrase starting Monday or starting next Monday uh, or, you know, the starting next month, but starting next Monday or starting Monday was like a common thing, especially again, yo-yo dieting, right? Starting, I'm going to start again Monday <laughs> anyways. So, but the point is, is that when I was, when I knew I was going to be starting a diet, it's almost like a, as if that last week I was just like on a binge. Like I'd be like just sugar. I'm like, well, I might as well go like, you know, Taco Bell and Burger King, whatever, McDonald's, like whatever. We're just like eating out, getting pizzas, freaking desserts up the, uh, up, up the ass, you know, whatever. Just eating out. You know how it's like just that last binge is like, oh, I'm going to go on that, you know, bender before I before I have to be strict. And I guess in a way, my, my mentality is still the same. It's like, okay, I know that I'm going to be doing a stricter, uh, a more strict version of carnivore. So let me uh, kind of, you know, really push the rules. And anyways, but at least I'm still sticking within the lane. Okay. So some of that stuff, I'm going to be stopping, you know, the cheese and the, the cream and stuff. Um. But uh, I just wanted to kind of just give you guys my update and let you know what happened with the, the pizza, my thoughts, and this upcoming BBB and E week. So if you want to partake in, in that BBB and E challenge, just let me know uh, because it, there, it's not like there's a prize. We're not doing it. We're just all doing it to see if we can all stick through that week and, and push ourselves to not, you know, fall off the, off the wagon. And I know we're all going to have to be on the honor system here. So if if you break the BBB and E challenge, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Just just say something. Just let me know. Say, hey, I tried. I fell off a little bit. Hey, it's no big deal. Get right back on the wagon. Ain't no thing, right? So that's what we got coming up. Um, other than that, guys, um, I, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. You know, I didn't do my normal workout again today because I was out freaking shoveling and that was a hell of a workout. By the time I got done, believe me, my back and legs and arms and, you know, shoveling that snow and throwing that snow and pushing it and everything else. It was, uh, it was not easy. And, um, so, so I definitely got a workout anyways. <laughs> so, but I should be tomorrow. I'm going to probably try to get back to my normal uh, P90X workout tomorrow. So 
Um, other than that, that's all I can think of, guys. Uh, if you have anything else, comments, questions, concerns, anything like that, feel free to put them in the comments, guys. You know, I try, I try to get to all your comments at some point and try to get back to you as quick as possible. Um, I don't know. I'm just being, I'm just very humble and grateful for you guys. You know, you guys have really given me a chance to, to, to have a voice, but to be able to just have my diary where I just can say what I need to say. And then, and you guys have noticed, I speak my mind. I'm not going to hold anything back. I'm going to tell you my inner thoughts, even if they're bad, like yesterday. I mean, yesterday, I, normally would I've shared that? Probably not, you know, but I've gotten comfortable. I've gotten to where I can trust you guys in that sense, where I feel comfortable sharing those thoughts with you and, and how, you know, because normally I'd want to stay positive and be like, Hey guys, even though I, I gained less than a pound and blah, blah, blah. And I would have been more positive and, and upbeat, but I just, I just wanted to share what I was truly thinking, you know? And, uh, but I'm, I'm okay. Like I said, and, and your guys' comments have really helped. Um, and, I mean, they really have, even if I didn't respond back to you yet, I've read almost every comment. That's the thing is I usually read the comments faster than I can obviously, uh, respond to them. So I don't just, so if you commented, um, like I know right off the top of my head, I know Scott had commented and, and he had a pretty long comment and I had read that Scott. So, um, so like I said, I read, I, I read your comments. I just can't always respond to them that same day. So, so guys, if you ever send me a comment about something, don't think that I hadn't got to it yet just because you don't get, you didn't get a response. But, but anyways, like I said, you guys have, have been amazing. I've been able to communicate and share with you. So thank you guys so much. It's going to be a long haul. It's going to be a long journey, but I think that together we can do it. I really do. And for those of you that are going through this journey with me, whether you're ahead of me, slightly ahead of me, right there with me, slightly behind me, or way behind me, I think we can all get there. We just got to stick together and be honest and, and be true to ourselves and just keep keep pushing, you know, right? Keep it up and stay strong. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow.